Hey everyone, so I don't normally like respond to responses of me, mostly because I don't want to like delve into drama and also because, you know, I'm a big anxious self-conscious mess. I am joking, but in all seriousness, normally I just kind of like ignore these things, like uh, when I made a video on incels and they got really mad and then I got all the rape threats and the death threats and I just told the police and moved on from it. When I made a Jordan Peterson video, all his little fanboys got all like angry and um, and yeah, again, I just, just ignored it and moved on from it. And I got a really interesting response from the people who practice urine therapy. I didn't think they would get so mad about it because I don't think I attacked them personally. At least that wasn't my intention at all. I literally just like, I tried to approach the topic like in talking purely about pee drinking and then like quoting some scientific studies and like talking about the science behind it. And then I used a few like posts from the urine therapy groups like, that I looked at um, to like give some examples of the sort of things people were doing and the sort of things they were asking about and highlight some of the dangers and things like that, right? And I, I censored everyone's names. I tried to keep it as private as possible. And I don't think I ever made any like personal attacks on these people. I tried my best not to. Um, because that's, that's not what I'm about. I don't want to get all, like, personal, and I'm not gonna... Like, they, they said that I called them idiots and morons, and I didn't. I think what they're doing is dangerous and worrying, but I don't think they're idiots. I think they're misguided, I think they're really informed, I don't think they're idiots. They didn't like my video, they took it very personally, and I was kind of watching this drama unfold last night on one of their groups. There was actually a woman who was nice enough to like message me and like tell me about what was happening as well, so um, big shout out to her, thank you. Um, I'm not going to name you in case you don't want to be named, but you, you know who you are, we had a nice chat, you were great. So I don't know, I just, I figured this would be quite an interesting little video because there are a couple of points I want to respond to. A couple of points I kind of want to defend myself on a little bit, um, and a couple of points where I figured we could just have a bit of a giggle, because I figure if they're going to make this personal and they're just going to throw insults at me, we can just have a laugh at them, right? Like the insults, not the people. So today we're going to be doing exactly what they hate and looking at their response to me. So it all started with this post saying, uh, this woman has been trolling the UT groups and now has made a video, I will share it below. And they, they shared my video, so you know, thanks for the views, really appreciate that. And I wouldn't say I've been trolling the groups because I've never posted anything, I've been, you know, observing the groups, definitely. I, I figured when I came to making this video on urine therapy, like I'd, I'd heard a lot of stuff about it, but I wanted to try and understand the people firsthand and find out what kind of people do this, what sort of like concerns they have, what sort of questions they have, what kind of discussions they have. I did want to include some posts in my video to show these examples of real people, and Dan at first suggested I just go into a Reddit group and pick out some posts from there, but then I thought people might accuse me of like not being in the groups and not understanding what real people were like. I, I thought I'd be accused of like, you know, only picking the outliers and not actually knowing what it's like in them. So I, I wanted to join myself. But obviously I don't want my personal profile associated with pee drinking. For one, because it's my personal profile and I don't mix my personal stuff with work. That profile is for my friends, it's for my family. I post pictures of my nephew on there and stuff like that. I don't want my work life associated with that. And two, I don't want my actual friends to see me being a part of pee drinking groups and misunderstand. They already think I'm weird enough. So yeah, I, I used a different profile and I went on and I observed because I wanted to see what real people were talking about. I'm sorry if you feel like I lied to you or was shady about it, but I was very open in my video about what I did. And I'm sorry if you feel like I lied to you or tricked you in some way, but ultimately Facebook is a public platform. And you've got to remember that anything you post online is there forever for everyone to see. I, I don't post things on my Twitter or my YouTube channel or my Instagram that I'm worried people are going to post somewhere else. You can say it was a private group, but it's, it's a group, it's public. It's not a private message between you and one other person. It's a group. Um, I also had people like this guy saying, what's her Facebook name, Carol? I want to troll her with the truth. Um, and I did get a few messages to my, like I say, my personal Facebook page, but I'm, I'm just ignoring them because, like I say, that's, that's my place for friends and family. I don't let work get involved into it, you know? Yeah, and then again, they were, you know, they were posting all this stuff about, you know, she has a profile picture with a dog, she has my profile, she's a YouTuber, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so that was a bit creepy, but... Whatever, whatever. Uh, this person says, everyone needs to click on the video and dislike it. Apparently it's the butte comedy I've 
I have seen in a while. She's very funny at times. Oh, thank you. I do try. No, seriously, I really try. This guy says, you realize dislikes count as engagement and actually help a video get recommended to more people, right? That's true. You're wrong on both accounts, plus her video, whether negative or not, does bring attention to the subject, but I'm sure most of her subscribers have never heard of urine therapy even once in their entire lives. I'm not sure actually, I, a lot of my subscribers have heard of it, it was a requested video by a few people, so that's that's why I, I spoke about it. And uh, yeah, no, the dislikes do help my video, because <laughs> the more engagement, the more it's recommended to people, and that, that really helps me out. So. There you go. She screenshot people's private posts and made fun of them. I would consider that trolling. Again, it doesn't really fit with the definition of trolling, but I'm sorry you got offended by this. I did try and like censor them and hide everyone's names and pictures and identities and things like that. Um, again, they, they aren't private posts, they are public, but I'm, I'm sorry you felt offended by that. But I will say, if you don't want things shared publicly, don't share them in a public forum. I just thought about it, if everybody watches her video, she'll go viral and make money. Don't go there. Again, I hate to break it to you, but I'm already making money, so... Thanks. And I'm, I'm not gonna apologize for wanting to be paid for my job. My job is to make videos and to entertain people, and part of that is sharing my opinion and you know, talking about interesting topics. I research the topics I talk about a hell of a lot, and um, I spend a lot of time and put a lot of effort into my videos, and I'm not going to apologize for wanting to be paid for my work and my time. Like everyone else, I have rent to pay, I have a dog to feed, I have student loans to pay off, I have taxes to pay. I'm not going to apologize for wanting to earn money for my job. Sorry. She had me in stitches when she said urine was a waste product. You're right, science is so funny. <laughs> and then then this this is the woman who actually messaged me on Facebook and she's absolutely lovely. But she says, you know that it actually is a waste product, right? Think we have a troll above. I mean, you say troll, I say rational human being, but let's just agree to disagree on this one, okay? And then there's some more stuff and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then they kicked her out of the group and then they got kind of rude and like bitchy about her and that was really mean and I didn't like that. Saying like, bye, bitch. And then like name calling. And it, it, it made me very uncomfortable. I didn't like that stuff at all. It felt a lot like a group of mean girls ganging up on like a nerdy kid. And it made me very uncomfortable. Uh, this guy says, disliked. All I hear out of her mouth is, blah, blah, blah. That might be because you have pee in your ears. I'd check that out. Oh my god, this woman is so clueless, not to mention how she looks like pig. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. I mean, for one, they called me a woman, not a child, which is pretty good. It's good to know that I'm starting to look my age and not be mistaken for a teenager anymore. I do appreciate that. And um, also it's kind of cute, you know, Dan as a nickname, uh, he, he calls me Pickle because I do like the little piggy nose sometimes and he thinks it's really cute and it's like a really stupid thing we do. So he started calling me Piggy and then that turned to Pickle and then we got Kyra and she makes piggy noises as well. So she's Pickle as well. So Dan comes home and he's like, oh, where are my two Pickles? And me and Kyra are Pickles. So the whole piggy thing's a compliment. Thank you. Also, pigs are really cute. <laughs> All that makeup, so gross. Imagine how she looks when it's not on. Oh, she needs a golden shower for sure. That's grim. No, thank you. Yeah, I I think it's kind of, uh, it, it says a lot about someone when they have to bring it all back to, uh, she wears makeup, so she must be dumb and stupid and blah, 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 blah. It, it is something I get a lot. As someone who enjoys wearing makeup and finds it fun, it's something that I think I have to deal with. It's not something I should have to deal with, but I know it's something I do have to, because it's just a stupid opinion people have. I know they're wrong, so that's kind of all that counts, really. I'm not going to apologize for doing something I think is fun, you know? I enjoy applying makeup, so I'm going to apply makeup when I want to. It's not a self-esteem thing, it's a fun thing. Actually, my brows are sometimes a self-esteem thing, you know, like I say, that does give me a little confidence boost, but that doesn't mean I'm, like, self-conscious without makeup on. You guys know me, I always post stuff without makeup on, like, all those makeup videos I did, I start out my videos without makeup on. I've done, like, parody and satire videos where, for the sake of a joke, I've not had makeup on. Half my posts on Instagram are me without makeup on, I'm not ashamed of my face. I don't know, I think it says more about the person posting than me when they make comments like this, you know. If you have to attack a woman for her look and assume she has self-esteem issues for whatever reason, then, you know, maybe it says more about you than the woman you're talking about, but 
Maybe not, you know. Oh, the next person was nicer. She said, uh, I wear a lot of makeup. Kind of rude to attack someone's looks just because you don't agree with them. So thank you for that. I really appreciate that comment. Well, hey then, let's change my last name from Schmidt to Rude because she decided to go way too far with what she did. I feel perfectly fine saying what comes to mind about her wretched appearance, especially since she's trying... Oh, damn it, I didn't get the rest of the screenshot. Um, basically, okay, I'm ugly. So he's okay to say whatever he wants. I find it really weird. Like, I get that he's offended because this is obviously something he really believes in. And I try to use science to prove that it doesn't work. If it's something he's really emotionally invested in, I can kind of see why he'd be offended by that. But I didn't get personal in my comments. So yeah, I don't think it's on the same level. That said, this isn't something I'm going to get upset about because some random guy on the internet thinks I'm ugly. You know, doesn't really affect me, does it? Wish I could meet her and swear all the swear words I know, which is quite a bit. Ha 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 She is such a pee head. Well, we just found the 12 year old. <laughs> no, seriously, this still sounds like something a child would say. Like, I'm gonna swear all the swear words that I know at her, cause, cause she's such a, such a poopy head. See, now that was a slightly more personal attack on my part, but, um, you know, in the words of a commenter that we're going to come to in a minute. You started it! And this guy says she has a Patreon account, so she's an internet panhandler asking for spare change. Oh, and she has a merchandise store too. Wow, what a loser! Loves to throw the word science around too. Guaranteed to bring the bitter atheist community her way. You mean the bitter atheist community that I'm really good friends with and pretty much a part of, and you know, I think they're incredible people. Okay. Again though, I honestly, I don't see a problem with things like Patreon and merch stores. If I see a content creator that I like, whether it's a YouTuber or a musician or an artist or, you know, anything else, I want to do what I can to support them. When Stone Away crowd funded their third album, I donated, like, as soon as I saw it because they're my favourite band. I love them and their music and I love what they create and I want to help them out financially where I can. With independent musicians, I could just listen to their music for free on YouTube, but I choose to go out of my way to buy their albums, to support them, to buy their merchandise, to buy their t-shirts, because I support them and I love them. I want creative people to be able to create and do what they love as a job, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. When it comes to things like merch as well, I put time and effort into creating these designs, and I didn't get paid outright for that. Like, I put time and effort into something that I wasn't getting monetary stuff back for at the moment. You know, when I put them on a t-shirt, I get something like 150 a t-shirt. Like, I don't make a lot of money on these things. Most of... Sorry, my chair's squeaking. Most of the money goes to Teespring for postage and materials and things like that. I don't make a lot on it, but I enjoy it because designing is something I really enjoy doing, and I like the idea of, like you guys having this little connection to me. I love it when you send me pictures of yourselves wearing my t-shirts. It just, oh my god, it makes me feel so good. And I love you guys and appreciate you guys so much for that. And again, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I'm not going to apologize for that. Uh, evidently, she was in our group at one time. Yes, including this time. Uh, she took a screenshot of our group, including the timeline picture and the introduction to UT. She was more than likely in on the woo-woo Page, what a stupid woman. I don't know what that last bit means. I think they're accusing me of something, but I, I wasn't involved, so I don't know what it is. You guys believe it works and she doesn't go each their own. If you guys are right, her opinion wouldn't bother you sharing the videos, just letting more people see it. Thank you. I actually really appreciate this post. Like, good on you. Thank you. Um, and then she got a lot of crap for it. And I'm sorry you had to put up with that. I'm really sorry. This guy says, Rachel's levels of stupidity make her a waste product of this world. If you say so. Um, I thought I was a productive member of society, you know, paying my taxes, helping people out, doing good stuff, um, working a job I loved, entertaining 70,000 people, but now I'm just a waste product. I should probably just go live in a toilet. She looks so evil and her bad energy vibration is intense. <laughs> you got me there, you got me. Um, I am actually evil, I'm sorry. This whole like nice front and trying to be nice to people, it's its all a lie, what can I say? Um, do you remember that time that I saved an injured bird on the side of the road and the RSPCA couldn't come and pick it up for hours so I had to like look after it and you know I brought it into my home and I gave it food and water and looked after it. That was actually an evil bird. The bird was like Satan incarnate and I saved its life because I'm evil. 
And and do you remember that time uh, where I spoke up about the books that were promoting like child abuse and hitting your children and stuff like that? And I was like, you know, these books are bad. Truth is, I just think we should kill all children outright because I'm that evil. So I wasn't actually doing it to protect the kids. I just, I hate kids and I think they deserve worse. I, I don't know where I was going with this joke. It's not not really a good one. Let's just go with the evil bird one. Apparently, watching my video, it's painful. It was a struggle to watch it all the way through. She doesn't look well or healthy or happy at all. I mean, I guess that's your opinion. Um, I'm sorry if I came across that way. I, I don't like ruin your like way of thinking or whatever, but I'm, I'm very happy actually. I'm probably happier than I've ever been. Uh, health wise, yeah, no, I think, I think I'm okay. No, no complaints. I've got a smear test on Monday. Uh, not, not looking forward to that, but that's, that's just a regular checkup, you know, other than that. Doing pretty well. The inner struggle of the bitter, angry, science adoring atheists. There's a lot of them nowadays, and misery relishes each other's company. She sounded pretty ridiculous, to be honest. I, I, I don't think I'm bitter or angry. I, I do get angry when people say they're going to like try and make their kids drink pee. That That's child abuse, and child abuse makes me angry. But I'm not just bitter at life. And I'm not going to apologise for loving science either. Science is interesting, science is fun, science helps a hell of a lot of people, science gives us answers to so many different things and there's still so much we don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not, not going to apologise for loving that. Um, it's amazing how these debunkers go out of their way to dig up the very few negative comments out of hundreds of positive ones. Shows their agenda and their original intentions very clearly. Okay, well I'm sorry to disappoint you but I literally just went on like three different urine therapy groups and picked out the like most recent posts on each one. I didn't go hunting, I didn't go like looking, I didn't go delving deep to try and find the worst ones, I just screenshot the top ones, like the most recent ones, that's, that's all I did. There's no big agenda here, it's not conspiracy. <laughs> Apparently I'm making videos in order to make money and boost her YouTube status, nothing more than that, and clouds her ability to think clearly about the matter and think or investigate rationally. I, on the other hand, have had U a YouTube channel and been promoting UT for three years. The biggest difference is that I've made no money and have, <laughs> and have not ever asked for a dime. Being genuine helps one think more clearly and decide what's true or not on their own and without the pressure of performing for an audience. Kind of sounds like someone's a little bit bitter and I'm sorry. I'm not going to apologise for needing to pay my bills. I am so lucky and so thankful that I get to do a job that I love and that it pays the bills, but I'm not going to apologise for needing to pay those bills in the first place. Sorry if the camera just changed but my battery died and I had to switch it out. But um, yeah, I, I'm not going to apologise for making money from YouTube because I love this job and I'm so grateful that I get a chance to do it. And the fact that I do make money from YouTube, it doesn't alter my ability to make videos in any kind of negative way. In fact, it, it helps because it means that it means that I don't have to work another job and instead I can spend my time really working on researching videos well and spending time and putting a lot of effort into them and trying to make the videos the best they can be. I don't think saying, you know, I've been doing YouTube for three years and I've never made any money, like, I don't, I don't think that's a positive or negative thing. It's just a fact. It doesn't make you better than me. It just means that's what you do. That's what I do. Like, I'm happy for you if you have another job and another way to make money and pay the bills, but I don't. This is my job, and I'm not going to apologise for that. Uh, this guy says, the thing is, they will never be able to prove that it does not work. Spackers. God, it's a long time since I heard that as an insult. I just watch, she's angry, opinionated, and doesn't have any facts to back it up. So you just missed all those scientific papers and journal articles and studies that I quoted and referenced. Uh, she has a ton of makeup on that probably has pee in it. <laughs> she better stop putting creams on her face because it probably has pee in it. <laughs> the secret ingredient that nobody knows about. <laughs> yeah, she's trying really hard to look pretty and probably craves any attention or feedback she can get from her subscribers. Take that makeup off though and I guarantee she <laughs> has the looks of a gargoyle. I don't really have any comments to that. I don't know why so many people are like, huh, if she took her makeup off, we'd all see the real her. As though it's like some big thing. It's like, you do realise I don't wear makeup most of the time. I only do it when I'm like on camera or going out 
or want to have a play around with makeup for fun. It's a fun thing for me. And if I'm not in the mood to wear makeup one day, I won't wear makeup one day. Like there have been plenty of videos where I've like barely worn anything or some videos where I've like not worn it. And like I say, most of the photos I post on Instagram, no makeup. It's not like I'm ashamed of my makeup free face. I don't know why this is meant to be some kind of like gotcha moment for so many people. It's, it's weird to me. I find it very disturbing that she took screenshots from this group and other groups. Wish there was a way to get her in trouble for this because it's very, very wrong. Again, I, I'm really sorry if you feel I invaded your privacy or anything like that, but I didn't post anyone's names and I didn't post anything myself. I wasn't like fishing for anything. I didn't post any like private conversations between like me and another person or you and another person. I simply showed things that had been posted on a public forum. If it wasn't me screenshotting them, chances are someone else could have. There are plenty of like subreddits out there for things like this where people do share these things every day. If you're not happy with your things being shared by other people, don't post them publicly. You know, it would be like me getting mad at someone for posting this video somewhere. I'm putting it out here publicly. I can expect other people might share it and do what they want with it. I do think some things are over the top like this comment that says, she broke Facebook's rules and should not be able to profit from it with her YouTube video. She should be banned from Facebook with any profile, including her real one. There's a little over the top. Uh, she is an agent and purposefully misleading people on many fronts. Oh, this one's really funny. In my opinion, her, her many videos on topics that subtly glorify witchcraft, we looked at a book about witchcraft and said, this stuff probably won't work, but if it gives people a good self-esteem boost, that was the whole video, basically. Recommending novels on kidnapping and criminal activity. Think Calm, calm down. They weren't books about kidnapping and how to kidnap. I read a lot of crime fiction, okay? I like it when the bad guy gets caught. <laughs> it doesn't make me a bad person, as well as other taboo subjects. Never once mentioned how urine is openly sold to the pharmaceutical industry by Port John companies or how there are many testimonials of people. Oh, God's sake. I just reported her on YouTube. They don't really give you much options. This guy says, she reminds me of Brian Cox. Oh, thank you. Every inch of a shill look and a shill sound, it is disturbing. And to be honest, I'm surprised we haven't seen more of it. Well, that's, that's quite a flattering comparison. Thank you so much. Brian Cox is amazing. Thank you. Uh, and now onto some of the YouTube comments they left me. I'm not going to apologise at all for sharing these because, you know, they're on my videos. I can do what I want with them, essentially. And they were posted publicly. Same with the stuff from the Facebook group. You posted about me publicly on Facebook. I'm not going to apologise for sharing these this time. And if it makes you feel bad, I'm sorry, but that's your problem, not mine. Um, anyway, YouTube comments. Straight BS troll alert. This woman is probably working undercover for Big Pharma. I wish. Imagine the money they would give me. Um, and it's already pulling out the drama without actually having anything to say. Uh, urine therapy is the biggest threat to mainstream medicine piggy banks ever. The fact that you went on a private page with lies and ill intentions, then stole private content of vulnerable people that are publicly for your own gaining of views shows you have no integrity and only puts you in a very bad light. Disgusting example of a human being. Again, it is not private content you posted on a public forum. I acknowledge some of these people might be vulnerable, but I'm not the ones taking advantage of them. I'm trying to warn them that other people are taking advantage of them, and I'm not going to apologise for that. And the people who posted things about trying to make their kids drink urine and drink pee, I want to bring light to this so other people don't do it. And I'm not going to apologise for wanting to help people. Yeah, well, let's forget, you just showed the kind of person you are, stealing people's privacy without any shame or remorse. It's not private stuff. I didn't break into someone's laptop and steal their private pictures. I didn't break into someone's house and take something from them. You posted on a public forum, and I showed that content to the world. I did the decent thing by censoring names and pictures so nothing would be identifiable. Ba ba sheeple. This one really hit me hard. Yep, laugh all you want, bozo, but I'd rather try my own pee than the never-ending drugs and vaccines you wackos push on kids in the name of medical science, and I never anyone, met anyone with autism who got it via drinking their own urine, but keep obeying Big Pharma and your three trillion dollar medical health programs, because that seems working out fine, huh? You know I'm English, right? There's no three trillion dollar health 
program. Again, the fact you created a fake Facebook profile and infiltrated medical groups is disgusting. You are disgusting. What a horrible human being you are. Those are closed groups and you took screenshots and then you laugh and mock people. What the hell is wrong with you? Seriously, you suck. Again, I don't think I mocked anyone. It might be a closed group, but Facebook is still a public forum. And I don't think the term medical group is exactly accurate. Um, pseudoscience, maybe? Alternative treatment, maybe? But not medical group. And um, this isn't any kind of like official medical group. I'm not like a doctor who's posting stories about my patients, nothing like that. Um, your people who decided to share your pseudo-scientific therapy stories on a public forum, and as a member of the public, I shared them. Again, I'm not gonna, I, I don't know how many times I have to say this, but I'm not gonna apologize for sharing public information. I'm sh sorry you got offended by it, and I'm sorry you don't like it, but again, I didn't post anything identifiable. I don't know what you want me to do. If you don't want this stuff out in the public, don't post it publicly. You are so disinformed. <laughs> oh, let's make that a word. And stupid lol sheeple. Joke lady completely. You're not helping the evolution of the human soul here at all. <sighs> You're sad due to not debating in these groups about the BS coming out of your mouth here. Simply said by someone that does not do it, wake up, there is no proof anywhere that it does not work. I, I really hate this mentality of like, you can't say anything about urine therapy because you've not done it. It's like, well, I've also not drank bleach, but I know not to do that. Uh, this guy left me an absolute essay. You're right about one thing, people who practice urine therapy are normal people, nurses, lawyers, artists, professionals, most of them older and wiser than you. You say you know if you go to the doctor they are going to do what they can to help you. Oh dear, that's the most naive thing I've ever heard. How unhealthy are you? How oh, for God's sake. I actually, uh, for the purpose of this, I, I spoke to my sister-in-law who is a GP who works for the NHS. So, you know, she doesn't profit from giving people medicines. She doesn't profit from, you know, recommending tests or treatment to people. She just gets a flat salary like every other NHS doctor, okay? That's that's it. Like, her job is to help people. That's, that's all there is to it. And if you think there's some big conspiracy, then, you know, just... You're a bit silly. Uh, so I, I asked her if I could get a quote from her for my video. I said, as someone who is an NHS doctor, a vegetarian, doesn't wear a lot of makeup, is both older and wiser than me, and is a mother, because they are all the criticisms against me, and all the things that she is, do you think people should drink, inject, or bathe, bathe in, or put in their own eyes their own pee, or do that to their children? And she says, it isn't something that I would recommend. I definitely wouldn't suggest encouraging children to. In terms of a competent adult drinking it, alongside an appropriate amount of other fluids, all bathing in it is probably not going to harm them, but there's no suggestion that it has any health benefit. Injecting it or putting it in their eyes has the potential to cause damage, while urine at the point of production is sterile, in most cases it's often contaminated during the collection process with bacteria which would cause some serious problems. So there you go, from someone who is older and wiser than me. Don't drink your pee. And I do have to admit, I think a lot of the people in these groups are older than me, but I'm not sure they're wiser than me. Because they drink their pee. Um, and the last little comment I have says, You have a lot to learn, young lady. Urine is not a waste product, and you have wasted a significant portion of your life on Earth trying to debunk a fact and a therapy that is magical and reverses aging. <laughs> Sorry, and reverse ages people. I wish you luck in your endeavours. The, the thing is, I can sit here and laugh at these comments, like, the ones that insult me and the ones that call me names, and I, I can be like, oh, they're so silly, they're this, they're this. Um, I, I, can, I can laugh at that, and, you know, I, I can laugh off whatever, but at least, and you know, they, they can assume I'm damaging my body and I'm doing this and I'm doing this, but um, I know I'm not. And I know I'm healthy and, you know, they can call me dumb and ill-informed and blah, blah, blah. But, like, I know the education I have and I know the background I have. And, you know, 
I haven't just got my information from self-published books and Facebook groups. I studied biomedical science at uni. I've spoken to an actual, you know, general practitioner about this stuff. You know, I've read peer-reviewed articles in scientific journals and so on. And yeah, the thing is, I know I'm never going to get through to these people because they definitely have an anti-science ideology, I guess you could say. They don't want to listen to me. And so I know I'm never going to get through to them. But I wanted to make this video and I want to make my last video, not only because the last one was requested, but because I want people to understand that it's not harmless and it can be dangerous. They say, you know, there's no proof that it doesn't work, but there is. And there is evidence that it can be really harmful. I think when you get vulnerable people who are scared or worried about their bodies and their health and their lives, and they come and they look at something like urine therapy, I think it's important that they're shown both sides of it. You know, these people saying it's a miracle cure, and then the people like me saying it's potentially dangerous and can do more harm than good. I think it's important that they get both sides of it, and they're the people I'm talking to, not these people who are clearly so emotionally invested in it and, you know, willing to call me a stupid whatever. Yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of rambling. Uh, this this is a weird video, it's not my normal kind of thing. I don't normally like respond to this stuff. And I did feel the need to kind of defend myself a little bit and some of the comments did make me laugh quite a lot. And yeah, I guess I wanted to kind of like keep you guys in the loop of what was happening as well, cause yeah, I don't know. But in, in conclusion, um, I do wear makeup, I am happy, I do earn money off YouTube and I'm not gonna apologize for that because it's my job. And I'm sorry to the people who got offended that I took their posts on a public forum and anonymously posted them on my video. I know it's a really crappy thing to say, like, you know, I'm sorry you felt this way. That's not a proper apology, I know that. But the thing is, I still don't think I did anything wrong. When you post on Facebook, especially in a group, it's a publicly available website where anyone can see it. If I hadn't used posts from groups and stuff, the criticism I would have got would have been things like, you know, well, you've never spoken to these people, you don't know what it's like, you don't know what we actually talk about, you don't know, you know, the stories that people tell of it working, you don't know this, you don't know this, you've never experienced this. That would have been the criticism I got. I wanted to avoid that and show what real people think of urine therapy and why real people use it and the real concerns that people have. I did what I could to make sure that it was completely anonymous. I censored everyone's names and faces and photographs. I made sure that nothing could be traced back to any individual person, unless you went on that group and searched for it. But in which case, you know, you've posted it yourself. So there's, there's that. It sounds bitchy, but I don't think I did anything wrong and I'm not gonna apologize for it. I'm sorry you were upset by it and I'm sorry you felt betrayed or hurt or worried. Um, and I'm sorry I made you feel that way. It, it's the internet and nothing stays private on the internet. And as sucky as that is, it's the reality of things. But anyway, this, this is a weird video. This was stupid. This was whatever. I don't know. I'm, my brain is melting. This isn't my normal kind of thing. I don't know what I'm doing or saying anymore. I'm just bleh. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again soon. Thank you so much for everyone who's supporting my channel this month, especially everyone supporting me on Patreon, including Gambit and his chauffeur, Day Sean, Mark Darner, Christian Berg, Rachel B. Royer, Jaden Shepard, Jaylee Moore, Religions BS, Sir Michael Moore, Christian Opitz, Sage Villarreal, Greg Ladd, and Spencer Young. You're all seriously amazing and I can't thank you enough. Also check out everyone else mentioned on the end screen here and down in the description below. And if you've got a little bit of spare time and you want to check out my merch store then uh, you know you can, you can do that if you want, no pressure. <laughs>